Hey everybody, Logan here. Back with one of these controller pickups, but this is different. I like doing these retro third-party pickups. Now this is another one by Retrobit. So I usually pick up Hyperkin. I've had one Retrobit controller that I purchased for the NES and it the, the cable frayed, it fell apart. It was terrible. Not to say Retrobit stuff is terrible. The only single experience that I had with Retrobit was not a good one. So I saw this controller and I was like, hmm, that's an interesting controller. It was only $7 and it's brand new. And that is the Wired Super Retro Controller Solo. So as you can see, that has a very interesting design. Now I have not opened this yet. So the picture on the box is not even a real picture. It's like a uh, CG Photoshop Illustrator mock-up, I guess. So it's an interesting shape and I've never seen one of these in person. So we're going to open this up, we're going to take a look, see how the buttons feel, and if I can connect it to, uh, let's say, my Retron 5, because I don't have a Super Nintendo connector right now, it's actually over there on the, well, you guys can't see it, but it's over there on the shelf. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to open this up, let's take a look, and try it out, hopefully doesn't suck. We'll find out. Welcome to Red Bandana Gaming, the channel where Logan will show you everything. From gameplay to gear, their crew is here to take you on a journey through every atmosphere. Releases to news, you don't have to choose. Red Bandana Gaming is here for you. Alrighty. So as you can see, this is the Wired Super Retro Controller for SNES Retro Duo, RDP, and Super Retro Trio Solo. Of course, they're not going to say anything about the Retron because it's their competition. It says heavy duty, six foot cable. Um, get back to gaming roots, blah, blah, blah. Six foot, six foot, okay. Mm, and other third-party 16-bit consoles. Okay. So, and then in French and Spanish. Uh, yeah. So, let's take my little trusty old knack. Ba-ding! And pop this sucker open. Not too difficult. As I said, I got this for seven dollars is six ninety five. Bet it was worth the entire seven dollars. Okey dokey. Okay, that feels like crap. Wow, it feels light and ah. Oh. Okay, it's one of those where the whole button isn't a button. Like, if you press there, you see how that goes down. So, oh, I hate that. I hate that when that's not the button. This is the button. So, it makes you think, oh, and the, wow, they're... Okay, so this is a little awkward in design. You see how far these are over and how far this is to the left? You got a big gap here, but you get... Oh, <laughs> Oh, this feels like crap. Okay, the buttons don't press like crap. The D-pad is stiff, not like the Super Nintendo one. Feels more like, I, I guess, if the NES had a Super NES D-pad, if that makes sense, how rough that, uh, uh, ah! uh, oh, at $7, I, I didn't even, uh, ugh. Ah! Okay, let's test it. All right, so I turned it on, and as you can see, I'm playing the um, my Retron Five. It says playing Battle Cars using the controller, and continue. Let's just play. 
So Battle Cars is a lot like, um, I guess you could say F-Zero. It's one of my favorites. So I'm gonna hold this up here so you guys can see it a little better. Just use a standard one. Go with red. Usually use blue, but red bandana gaming, of course. I'm not trying to play poorly. I'm just testing all the buttons. Okay. It, no lag. It actually feels not too shabby when you're playing it. So you're turning pretty quickly. Watch me blow up. Mmm. Kablooey. Continue. Now let's actually try to play. All right. Now I actually have this on the Evercade as well. Pew. Okay, so don't want to do that. Pew! Pew! Ow! Oh, uh, did it hit him? And you can actually hurt yourself with your weapons, by the way. What place did I come in? There you go. So, hey, it, it works fine. It just feels cheap, kind of looks cheap, but it works great. Um, I guess you can make your own judgment on that. It's kind of weird. It looks cheap, feels cheap, but controls very well. Uh, no lag. It's It actually doesn't feel bad in the hand. It's got a slightly bit of grip when you're playing, so not bad. There you go. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Uh, head on over to redbandanagaming.com. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.